This is Haze Piece, the newest One Piece game on Roblox and today I will be ranking all the devil fruits in this game and of course I will be showcasing every single devil fruit. So sit back, relax and let's get right into the video. Okay, first we have the clear fruit and this one is gonna be going in the bad tier. The only thing you guys can do with this devil fruit is you guys can go invisible and to be honest you are not really that invisible, you are still visible which is basically useless. That's why this devil fruit stays in the bad tier. Moving on into the spike fruit, this one is also gonna be going in the bad tier. You guys will have two different skills which are actually usable, like you guys can use these to damage your opponents, but still they are very very bad. So for that reason, the spike fruit will stay in the bad tier. Next up, we have the chop fruit, and this one is going in the bad tier as well. Anybody with a sword cannot actually hit you, so that is actually pretty OP but other than that all the moves are extremely bad so for that reason the chop fruit is gonna be staying in the bad tier next we have the bomb fruit I'm gonna be ranking this one in the usable tier since it is actually usable even though bomb is a common fruit but it has four different moves and to be honest all the moves deal very decent damage so yes this is gonna be going in the usable tier next up we have the spin fruit and this one is definitely going in the bad tier. This fruit only has one move and that is that you guys can basically fly. And to be honest that is very very useless and you guys do not need this devil fruit. So for that reason it is staying in the bad tier. Moving on into the barrier fruit I'm gonna be ranking this just below the bomb fruit in the usable tier. This fruit has three different moves and to be honest all of the moves are pretty good. And look at the last move it does not even look like a common fruit. So for that reason the barrier your fruit is staying in the usable tier. Next up we have the string fruit and this one is definitely going in the good tier. This devil fruit has five different moves and to be honest all of them are very very good. And just look at the last move. It is just insane. So definitely string fruit deserves to be in the good tier. Next we have the paw fruit. This one is also another rare devil fruit but it is gonna be going in the usable tier. This devil fruit has four different moves and none of them are actually very good. If this devil fruit had like a teleportation move or like you know something special then I would have ranked it higher but I think the paw fruit is just gonna be staying in the usable tier. Next we have the sand fruit and this one is also another uncommon fruit and this one will be going in the usable tier. It has four different abilities and all of them are actually pretty decent. It also has a flight ability which is pretty cool and just look at the last move. It is actually pretty strong but due to its low damage it is gonna be staying in the usable tier. Next we have the Buddha fruit and this one is definitely going in the good tier but I'm just gonna be ranking it below the string fruit. Whenever you guys transform into your Buddha form all these small NPCs cannot actually hit you which basically makes you invincible which is very very OP. So for that reason this devil fruit is definitely gonna be ranked in the good tier. Next up we have the mammoth fruit. This one is gonna be going in the good tier as well. I actually quite like this devil fruit since it is very very OP for farming. Whenever you guys transform into the mammoth form you guys can do three different moves and all of them are actually quite strong strong. So you guys will have no trouble farming in this game with the mammoth fruit. So with that being said, let's move on into the next fruit. Here we have the smoke fruit and I'm gonna be ranking this in the usable tier. It is actually quite similar to the sand fruit. It has the same tornado move but in white and yes it has a flight as well. And here is the last move which is also pretty strong. So yeah, it's gonna be staying in the usable tier. If you guys still haven't, make sure to hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button if you guys like this type of content. Next we have the snow fruit and this one is going to be going in the good tier just below the string fruit. It has four different abilities and all of them are actually very strong. They have very very big range which is very good for farming. And look at the last move, it covers up almost all the area near you. So yes snow is actually a pretty decent fruit in haze piece. Moving on into the control fruit, I will be ranking this in the best tier. 
I just really like this table fruit. Whenever you guys press E, you guys can open up a room. And you guys can do 4 different moves in this room which are actually very strong. And not only for farming, this table fruit is very good for PvP. As you can see, the shambles move will let you teleport to your opponent. And also moves like the gamma knife have very good range. So with that being said, control deserves to be in the best tier. Next up, we have the gravity fruit. And this one is gonna be going just below the snow fruit it is a very good fruit the moves are very very unique and they actually deal a lot of damage it also has a flight ability and also this move which is very very op so gravity is definitely a pretty strong devil fruit next we have the light fruit and it is gonna be going in the good tier just below the snow fruit this devil fruit has four different abilities and also has a teleportation move and also a flight ability which is actually six moves in total and to be honest the moves are very good as well so i think light is actually a pretty solid devil fruit moving on into the flame fruit i am definitely gonna be ranking this higher than the snow fruit it is a very very good fruit all the moves are very fast and the damage is just insane and look at this move man it is so good it also has a flight ability and of course it can summon a freaking sun which is very very strong so you know it deserves to be in the good tier next we have the gas fruit and this one is gonna be going just below the flame fruit it is a very very fun devil fruit to use all the abilities are actually very big so they can hit multiple npcs and also if you guys press c you guys will run fast and also jump a lot higher and just look at this last move this devil fruit is very strong moving on into the rubber fruit this one is definitely going in the best tier since this fruit has three different awakenings first when you guys have this fruit you guys will have gear one then you guys can awaken it to gear two which will make all the moves deal a little bit more damage and also will make them faster and lastly you guys can awaken yourself into gear four which is just insane all the moves are very very strong and you guys can also fly so with that being said the rubber fruit is definitely gonna be going in the best tier next up we have the quake fruit and this one is gonna be going in the good tier as well but it's not really that good so i'm gonna be ranking this just below the gravity fruit all the moves are just normal you know they just deal a little bit of damage and that's it and of course just like all the other one piece games this one also has the tsunami move which is actually pretty strong but still this devil fruit does not deserve to be any higher than the good tier next we have the lightning fruit and i am actually very confused in where should i put this but it's gonna be going in the top of the good tier all the moves are very fast and they deal a lot of damage and also there are like two different teleportation abilities in this devil fruit then it also has the raigo ability which is just like a big big electric ball which is just insane so yes it definitely deserves to be in the good tier next we have the ice fruit and i really really like to use this fruit the moves are very cool and every single move of this devil fruit actually stuns your opponent which is very good if you guys are actually fighting somebody and also of course you guys can walk on water which is very cool so with that being said ice is definitely staying in the good tier next we have the magma fruit this is our first legendary fruit and it is going to be going in the best tier first of all you guys can walk on water which is just very very cool second you guys will have a lot of different abilities which deal a lot of damage also it has a flight ability as well and lastly look at the ultimate move it is very very strong so with that being said let's move on into the darkness fruit and without a doubt this one is definitely one of the best fruits in the entire game all the moves are very very strong just look at these moves man they have such a big range whoever designed this fruit did a madness and they made it a very powerful fruit and it also has a flight ability so what else do you want 
Personally, this is my favorite fruit in the entire game. Next, we have the Phoenix fruit and yes, it is going in the best tier as well, but it is going to be below the darkness fruit. Just look at this transformation. You guys can already tell that this is a good fruit. You guys can also heal yourself with this fruit and also the moves are very unique so you guys can get your enemies off guard. Look at this last ability. It does a lot of damage and it has such a big range. So definitely Phoenix is a top tier fruit in haze piece lastly we have the dragon fruit and i cannot tell you guys how strong this devil fruit is just imagine the darkness fruit with a transformation and a lot more damage first of all look at this transformation it is pretty pretty good and all of the moves are beyond stupid like they are so strong it has good aoe moves this has probably one of the best moves in the entire game. This fruit is definitely the best fruit in the entire game. So yes, this is my final tier list and if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.